Okay, I'll, first I'll tell you guys what I'm doing. Um, someone has put aftermarket tail lights on this thing, and this side was missing the lens. Well, rather than buy another set of aftermarket tail lights, uh, I got online to the, uh, I think it's called Apache Parts LLC.com or something like that, and uh, I saw that, you know, they sell the Apache tail lights for. Uh, Twelve ninety nine each. So I've decided rather than just buy another set of aftermarket tail lights that don't fit right, you can see where they've drilled the holes to fit. And then once this is up here, these you know these original tabs here stick out. I don't like that. So I've just went ahead and ordered a set of original Apache tail lights. But here's what I'm dealing with down here. As you can see, they have whacked the wiring harness up. Now here, uh, I'm, yeah, if I go in there, I can see the red plug. So these are the original wires, three wires that go to this tail light. But what they've done is they have bought an aftermarket harness. And I don't know why they've done this, but I'm going to walk around front and show you guys. Hi, Haley. <laughs> My daughter's over here watching me. So I'm going to watch around or uh, walk around front here and show you guys. They have, you know, no doubt this harness came with the aftermarket tail lights they bought, but they have run this aftermarket harness up here to the front that has this little square plug. Um, I have no idea why they did this. I mean, it's, it's still got this and on the inside of the camper, you know, uh, all the wiring as far back as I can tell is, is still in place. Um, the only thing I, reason I can think they might have done this is they just didn't have a plug like that on their vehicle and rather than get the right plug for their vehicle they got this one or maybe they didn't want to fool with the air brake or I mean the uh, electric brakes but at any rate you can see these wires are coming apart so this is no good to me and since my my avalanche back here actually has this style plug on it um, I want to get that plug working again. So we're going to take the aftermarket lights out and when our new lights get here, uh, hopefully we'll get that plug working again. The only thing I'm worried about is there's a lot of corrosion in this plug, but I'm going to hit it with some contact cleaner and, uh, you know, wire brush it, maybe get one of the wife's, uh, fingernail files in there to clean it up and you know we'll kind of go from there and see what happens but anyway <laughs> the countdown's on the wife's looking for somewhere for us to go for Memorial Day weekend which is only two weeks away and uh, I'm expected to get this thing roadworthy by then so I guess I'm going to get on it okay so just like on the other side I was able to dig down in here and find the original wiring that had been disconnected. And, um, you know, here's the, here's all the aftermarket wiring hooked up to this lot. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is clip all of this and, uh, Pull all this aftermarket harness out. I, I don't know why somebody would have did this instead of just buying an adapter plug. <laughs> Seems like it would have been a lot easier to just buy, buy an adapter plug. But, you know, everybody has their own way of doing things, I guess. Okay, I thought you guys might want to see what I'm doing. Or maybe not. Maybe you don't want to see my ugly mug. With a big old dip in my mouth. But anyway, um... Whether you want to see it or not, here it is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I did want to tell you, though, I went in there and looked it up real quick because I wanted to make sure you guys had all the information you needed. And the name of the website that I ordered this from is uh, ApacheCamperTrailers.com. So, you know, if you guys want to want to order you uh, a set of new you know Apache tail lights 
if you're if you know if you've got something going on like I do here where uh, where the original tail lights are gone and oh well looky here I didn't know I had that much slack in this um, yeah so if you if you know you're going through something like this where uh, you know maybe the previous owner has put a set of aftermarket tail lights on it or if your tail lights are just busted and you're looking for a replacement and you want original tail lights apache camper trailers .com. i hope you guys can see this i mean all i'm doing is cutting wires i just want to make sure i'm starting off with a bunch of even wires here now you guys are actually gonna get like fast forwarded because i don't currently have the lights so all I'm doing right now, I, to be honest, I'm working on like 15 different things on this camper all at once. But um, I've actually, <laughs> I've actually started the uh, air conditioner project. Um, we're about to when uh, when the missus gets off work, we're about to go to uh, uh, Lowe's and look at some paneling to replace the paneling inside. On the bed ends and then uh, I'm working on this <laughs> it's just every day when I get off work I work on you know whatever whatever seems handy to work on at the time that's what I'm working on uh, and then I just put all my video clips in folders you know labeled this or that and uh, <laughs> you know when I when I get a project finished then I put all the clips together and boom you guys get a video all oh, the, the magic of uh, YouTube, huh? But anyway, I'm going to get this other side clipped. See, I don't want to lose this. Well, I'll be able to find it. It's just it's not like it's laying that deep down in there. Uh, I'm going to get the other side clipped, and then uh, we're going to try to pull out this aftermarket harness. There's the wires I cut. This is that uh, aftermarket harness. Now the the portion of wire that was inside the trailer is actually in good shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I'm going to go cut it at the front of the trailer and pull it in instead of trying to pull all this out. And there we go all that extra wire out of here okay now one thing I want to go over here is uh, one reason why I may be having some issues with the wiring in here and that's uh, this plug and other plugs like it uh, I actually I cannot get can you guys see that yeah it's right in the middle of the frame there okay um, I cannot get this plug to go back together like no matter how hard I push on it the only other way I could think would be to you know get a pair of pliers and squeeze it together but it just absolutely will not engage all the way and uh, that can't be good for connections so what I might find myself doing yeah because I'm looking at another a similar plug down here and it yeah this one's definitely not going together as far as it should um, what I may find myself doing if I can't get this plug to go together is getting me a, uh, a weather pack connector or just some different kind of six prong plug something a little more modern and you know maybe because I've, I've got I've got some slack here yeah, I've got, I've got, well, actually, I've got quite a bit of slack from the back. Oh, yeah. So, I may just, uh, I may just get a more modern plug and rewire this, just so I'm, I'm sure I'm getting a good connection all the time. But, uh, we'll take that as it comes. So, uh, that's pretty much all I can do with the lights for now. So, I'm going to, uh, I've got to wait on the new tail lights to get here. To you guys it'll just be a, a 
blink to the next video for me it'll hopefully be a couple days and not a week or more but uh all right so i'll see you in a millisecond just showing you guys real quick everything i pulled out here so now we got our original wires here that we're about to hook our new tail lights up to over on this side uh oh they have fallen in but uh there's our original wires on this side so i mean i'm assuming this is right because this is the way they were routed from the factory so if anybody's needing to know what wires go where uh, on the right side you've got brown white and green on the left side which is the driver's side you've got red uh, white and green now I'm gonna assume the white is the ground on both sides and since the green is a splice and runs to both sides that's most likely going to be your brake and running lights brake lights i don't know but the different color the brown on the passenger side and the red on the driver's side since those are different co the only color that's different for each side i'm going to go ahead and assume that those are your turn signals because i don't know uh I don't know why else they would be different on both sides. So passenger side turn signal is brown, driver side turn, turn signal is red. I got good news and a little bit of disappointed news. The good news is the new tail lights came in today. Uh, the bad news is they're not really what I thought they were going to be. Um, I thought these were going to be like direct replacement Apache tail lights, and they are not. Um, at least not for my year model. Like I don't know, these might be a direct replacement on maybe the earlier models or something, or the later models. But on mine, um, they're not. You know, they're not direct replacement tail lights, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So just so you guys can see what I'm talking about, about the fitment, they're not as wide. Like the original tail lights are this wide. Uh, these are not. So if I center it up, if I center them up on here, you can see the rusty, the old brackets from the original tail lights sticking out, uh, which is kind of the reason I ordered these in the first place. Um, I do like the way they look, the shape and everything of them, and I like that, you know, I've got a license plate bracket on this one, on the left one, even though I don't have a license plate bracket, but, uh, yeah, kind of disappointed that they don't, you know, that they're not wider, they don't really fit, but anyway, we're going to, uh, get these on here and see what, uh, see what we can do with them. Here's what we're going to be using, uh, we got our wire strippers right here we got our uh, wire crimps uh, now I want to say as far as the crimps go I'm not an advocate of using butt connectors uh, I believe all wires when you're joining two wires together uh, they should be uh, soldered the only problem is I'm out of solder um, if you guys have been on my channel for you know some time you'll see that uh, I recently had to re-solder in a bunch of digital gauges in Project Steppenwolf and because of that <laughs> I used up just about every bit of solder I had so I don't want to uh, have to drive all the way to Harbor Freight or somewhere to get more solder so unfortunately today we're just going to be using these these butt connectors I will probably go back at some point and solder these wires because like I said I don't I don't like using butt connectors on exterior wiring. Uh, also something you're gonna need is some screws. I got this assortment at Harbor Freight years ago. Still using them. Uh, but these tail lights do not come with screws. So you're gonna need some screws and I always recommend stainless steel. So let's get to it. Let's strip these back. And 
that it's a little now the white is the ground so don't don't put a butt connector on that one you'll see why in a minute I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here I'm sure most of the people watching this already know how to uh, how to use butt connectors Sorry if uh, I'm huffing and puffing, but you know, fat boy's right next to the camera, so he's gonna huff and puff. I've actually been working today. I'm on call this weekend, so <laughs> it's like six o'clock, and I'm just now getting started working on this thing. All right, now here's the here's the kind of tricky thing about this. Our um, ground wire has to feed through here. It actually has to ground out to this metal right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it through kind of like that. And then I'm going to just run a screw through here. Or it's a little longer. Uh, no, that's that's really the only option guys because there's not another hole in these lights to run the wire through because all these other holes are mounting holes and If you ordered these same tail lights, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you you're you're gonna have to run your screws through your um, You're gonna have to make new holes Cut to the chase. You're gonna to have to make new holes in your stuff. All right. So just so I don't have to hold the light and everything, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go green to green on both sides, and we will hope that that's right. course I will have to back the avalanche up and plug in the connector to check this and we will do that and then on this side you know red is for our turn signal and brake on the uh, driver's side so we'll go red to this brown wire here I think on the passenger side brown is actually our signal in our factory harness so that, that, that side over there will be completely color coordinated <sighs> so we got this on now we need our ground so what I got to do is I have got to find a screw and it just needs to be a it can be a short fat screw all that's important is that it works in this hole and that one does not. So we need a fatter screw. Let's see if one of these will work. Awesome. We can make that work. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove my ground wire. Through the hole here I don't know if you guys can see it but I put my ground wire through the hole turned it kind of sideways kind of folded it over I really hope you guys can see this and then I'm just gonna run a screw in it and hopefully that just makes the connection and doesn't cut through the wire if it cuts through the wire, we're going to have to figure out a different way to ground this. Okay, I think we're actually, yeah, I think we're good there. Alright, so then what we're going to do is try to kind of center our light.
try to get it somewhat straight and somewhat centered and uh, and it would help if I would have had a screw ready right so I'm going to try to use the smallest diameter screws I can right here just so that in the future if something happens and I actually find an actual set of um, of real Apache tail lights you know I'm not making huge holes here all right so this time I got a screw ready let's go back and figure out where we need to be um, I hate that we have these rusty brackets sticking out back here oh yeah we got more problems than one with these tail lights looks like another problem we got is <sighs> I'm only gonna be able to put two screws in them because the holes are so close together <sighs> yeah I'm really disappointed really disappointed with these tail lights guys the mounting holes in the tail lights I don't know if you guys can see that they're so close together that I'm not gonna be able to hit any meat this this holes like I think I'm gonna have to either just put two holes in the top or drop it down and put two holes in the bottom I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, to really get a to get four holes in it I'm not I'm not gonna be able to get four screws in this guys yeah I am not happy with these lights at all Oh well, live and learn, right? So I guess we're just going to have two screws holding our lights on. We're not even going to have that if I can't get it, get the screw to stay on the drill. Wow, that really sucks. Like I really thought I was getting actual Apache tail lights, guys. See, those, those are going to flop and everything because I can't get two bottom screws in them. I'll just say it again. I'm not happy with these tail lights. I guess what I'm going to do is just try to run one screw through the plastic in the middle here and down just so they're not flopping. But this is something to look out for if... Uh, if you decide to go with these same tail lights yeah if you decide to go with these same tail lights keep this in mind they do not fit properly at least not on this this is a 78 now it could be that these tail lights are actually for a uh, either a newer model or a later model than this I mean Maybe mine's just an oddball, and that's that's why they're not fitting. But oh well, I'm gonna go up here and and back the avalanche up, and get the wifey to hit the brakes and lights and stuff, and see if they work. Looks like we've got a turn signal, but none of our running lights are working. Here's the new tail lights. Got the new tail lights installed. Uh, as I said before, I'm I'm a little disappointed. Uh, I thought that they would be exact, like factory original replacements. They're not, at least not for this year model. Maybe they are for a different year model. Uh, if somebody wants to leave a comment down there and, and tell me if that's the case. Um, but anyway, they are installed. Uh, I know for a fact they're wired properly, but they're not working. Um, the only thing I can get to work is the 
uh, driver's side turn signal and brake light. The running lights are not coming on. Uh, nothing's working on the passenger side. And I know I have them wired up correctly back here. So uh, I guess in the next video, I'm, I'm probably going to try to chase down some wiring and, and, you know, see what's going on. I know we've got that one plug in there that I was kind of iffy about. So we'll start there, work our way back, and uh, hopefully we'll get it figured out. But anyway, this has been, uh, you know, this has been the video on wiring up our new tail lights on our Apache camper. So if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. And uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on Bad Luck Garage.